Hey y'all, Mr. Timms. If you've seen in my other videos, I mentioned the sawmill. Uh, and this is my Woodland Mills HM122. And I just want to give you my first, uh, my thoughts on it. I've had it a couple months and uh, how things have been going and, and what's a must, in my opinion, for uh, kind of getting into sawing your own logs. I don't know how I would have done it without that sucker right there. Um, just picking up these logs, you can see the size of this, this southern yellow pine that I've got here. Um, that's uh, probably 10, maybe nine inches around. And that, that's just a heavy log. You can see that uh, I, I skidded and, and cut all these logs and stacked them over here. So I've got plenty of, of wood to cut, but I really don't know how my back would have done it without it. I've seen a lot of guys that are sawing without a tractor they're they're skidding them with uh four wheelers and things like that and then rolling them up and winching them and and um but uh i just i would if you if you can get a tractor with a lift on it and a boom gosh oh my gosh that's that saves so much time so you can see the pile over here uh you see wood sitting everywhere wood on the trailer for for projects um log here getting ready to finish up a project and and so what are my thoughts about this this mill? So first of all, I purchased the the extension. That is a must because I've got these southern yellow pine logs that that are really really they're they're 50 foot long and so cutting 16 foot sections was a must for me. Um I went ahead and raised it up after uh having somebody else do a review saying they wish they had gotten a more area down here to come be able to come out and clean this up. So I have not cleaned that out yet, but I need to at some point. Performance of the machine. 100% uh, met my expectations. Um, with this model, I uh, decided to get the, the nine and a half horsepower, the, the bigger model uh, on the motor. This, this Kohler, this Command Pro, is it cranks every single time. Uh, and, you know, I know exactly right where. Let's see here. Of course, I'm keeping pure gold in it or uh, non-ethanol gas in it. Um, but, you know, no problems with the engine, no problem with the power. You can see here, I am running about 18.3 hours. I've changed the oil on the guy. And, you know, really no troubles out of the motor, out of the carriage. The carriage does slide around a little bit with these heavy logs. You can see that uh, I don't have it bolted down. You see how this one's kind of slid off the track over here? Um, so I'll have to come back and check level. Uh, that just happens from these big logs uh, kind of knocking it around. Putting the proper tension on it, that's been easy. I take the tension off uh, and put it back on every time I'm working it. That has not been a problem. I've not had any any blade malfunctions uh, from, from tightening. Um, the only thing I'll say negatively is this handle, every now and then this nut fails and I have to come back and tighten it uh this to raise and lower uh the uh the unit there so but not a big deal i mean it's a piece of machinery you got to maintain it right blades 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 i have let's see i bought a 10 blades i've been sawing for a couple months i've gone through i think i'm on my sixth blade right now um and then you can see uh, let's see when you do stuff like that you cut through there <laughs> the the guide uh that kind of messes your blades up so um the track the track seems heavy duty um i've not had any really wear and tear or problems with it so far you can see the i've got a fairly good size log on here um and so this the only thing i see uh this may could be nicer on other units uh where it just clamps down at, like a cam um this takes a little time to to screw in and out um to lock the log in but really it's it's not a super big problem all right so i just uh turned that log into a nice big cant here a spot ended up with about seven and a half by seven and a half uh cant out here but i am doing siding board and batten siding so i'm not really worried about it so i'm, I'm cutting that at three quarters so i'm going to just start slabbing out some some three quarters the way I do this is um, I get my blade right into the, the top of the cant there. I come back 
and I like to set mine my scale and this has the the blade uh, thickness in it there so I like to set that um, and then come down three quarters and then that's where I'll start my first cut you can see and I'll just start working it all the way down here I can tell my blades getting dull because I'm having to push a little harder um, and then you know that that's a that's a bad thing because then you can get your you can get waves in the logs you can get a uh, just uh, the the dimensions not correct and so I'm probably gonna have to change the blade here after this guy I'm gonna see if I can get through it So here's what I've been doing with the lumber I've saw. I uh, did a pole barn for drying shed, tractors, uh, just, you know, stuff around the, the farm here. I've done a board and batten style. Uh, still a little bit of work in progress. It's been nice having a dry area out here to, to work and keep my tractor in. And so um, every one of these boards, beams, except for the uh, telephone poles this came off my property off the trees that I milled um, and I'm really proud of them I put this up green and I just nailed it on one side give some time to dry um, and and I've, I've nailed this side and it's like you can see it right there I've nailed this side of the board then came back and, and held the left side of the board down with the batten over top of it and uh, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Once everything kind of dry, dries out, I'll, I'll uh, readdress it with nailing it. But um, yeah, it's just, this has turned out really nice. So they consider this uh, entry level hobby, hobby Sawyer level machine. Am I sorry I bought this size? Should I bought a bigger one? Seeing how I love, uh, you know, sawing lumber and in doing this no i haven't run into that yet uh, because of the stack of lumber i've got over there the size of lumber i have available i haven't run into a lot that's uh too big for me i may one day uh if i get some bigger oaks i wish i could have processed it but uh so far this this machine has fit me and what i want to do very well well thanks for watching y'all i've had an absolute ball sawing lumber you know, using using the, my own wood to, to for my projects i've got a ton of projects in my mind uh bigger horse barns things like that that i want to do and so please uh please subscribe and, and watch and, and and send your comments down there i'd love to hear what you're thinking uh or what you want to see